okay guys so welcome first of all over here and uh, today that we are going to discuss that is installation of the windows operating system uh, either we have windows server operating system or the windows 8 2008 r2 operating system over on the vmware so how we can install these operating system over on the vm and what are the things to uh, we have to follow while installation right so first of all what you have to do you have to open your vmware application that is uh, you already install in your windows laptop make sure you already install it if you didn't install so go over on the there's uh, the windows VM, sorry the vmware website and download that vmware application software from there right so let me just tell you you have to just go inside the vmware workstation pro right just click on that and there you will get the options to uh, to download this vmware workstation 16 pro right so you have to download these if you have if you are using the windows laptop so you can download for the windows and if you are uh, using the Linux laptop, so you can also download for the Linux as well, right? So I have already installed this uh, application software in my laptop. So what we are going to do, we are going to install the Windows Server 2008 R2 inside this virtual machine, right? So you have to click on the create a new virtual machine. After that, just go for the by default settings. And over here, you have to choose that particular file uh, regarding that is our Windows Server 2008 R2, right? So that operating system we are going to install inside the VM. So after choosing that file, just click on the next and you can choose any kind of number over there. That is, uh, that doesn't matter. it doesn't matter, right? So you can choose any kind of number over there. And here we have the some kind of um, the Windows version, the version of the Windows Server 2008 R2, right? So that we have the Windows Server 2008 R2 data center, data center core, enterprise, enterprise core, standard, standard core, web edition and web edition core, right? So that we are going to install the enterprise, okay? Now you can set any kind of password over there. Just make sure you didn't, you did not forgot this password. If you forgot this password, so you will never open your, you are not able to open your VMware virtual machine, right? On this Windows server. So click on the logon automatically and then click on the next, right? You can also change your path location as well according to your requirement as well. You can also change your path location like where this operating system is going to install, right? So here we have BIOS and FEI. So we have to go for the by default and just click on the next. And you can uh, you can also configure, you have to also configure the RAM as well over there. So I'm going to choose RAM that is 8 GB, right? Because of I have the 16 GB RAM in my laptop. So you have to choose a RAM, uh, the RAM module according to your requirement, right? And after that, you have to choose the use network address translation, that is NAT, okay? So just go for the by default, by default and create a new virtual disk. You have to create a new virtual disk. And over here, you can allocate any kind of virtual disk inside your particular file. So go for the finish and the installation process is begin, right? Now, let the machine will come up, right? Windows Server machine, let the machine will come up and then we will check and we will see that how the installation file and how the file is going to um, maintain and that. So the Windows is going to start automatically once your file will be checked. So the Windows is going to start automatically, right? So let the Windows will come up. So that was the total process while installation of the any kind of operating system, right? If you have any kind of operating system, so you can install with following these steps, right? 
so but over here we have the windows 8 that is we are using or we are going to install the windows 8 server windows server 2008 i2 over there and um, that is the thing that is uh, we have to install it right so let the setup will come up okay okay so this is your normal installation process that is uh, basically every windows every uh, microsoft windows will follow these kind of process procedures right means it will first of all check your copying windows file right if it, it will it will copy all kind of windows file that it that this window is required right after that this will expand that windows file that is we have and then this will install the feature and install the updates according to this windows right and then the installation completed uh, then, then the installation process is begin from the completing right so this uh, this setup is going to check from the each and every step so let this uh, let this just install it right once this process will be completed then we will see that uh, what are the main points that is we have after completing these process so let me just pause the video okay guys uh, so this is going to expand our windows file so make sure uh, once this installation process is begin so make sure your laptop is not going to turn off or your pc is not going to turn off right so just please be connect your power connector or the power adapter with your laptop so they will provide the power and uh, this electricity once the this this uh, installation process will be completed so then uh, they will ask uh, the few steps while configuration of the windows server 2008 r2 right like what is the addition of it what is a um, what what about the things that we will have we will see right so let the installation process will be completed then we will talk about that okay so it is checking the installation update if any updates will be there so this will also check and then it will completing the installation right so the last step that is only left that is completing installation <clears throat> so once the installation will be completed so it is going to take a restart of your pc and then it will come up again right once the pc will re come up again so they will ask uh, such as the some few things like what is the uh, username that you have given and what is the password that you have given over there so these are the things it will ask and then the, the, then the machine will come up right Everything will be in front of you. Just wait a few minutes. So guys, uh, sometimes what you have done, like uh, you just you just click this mouse over on this uh this black area or any kind of area if you click on that and uh if you lost your mouse cursor over there so in this case what you have to do you have to press the control and alt button right you have to press control and alt button over there then you will get the mouse access over uh mouse access the front of the machine right so uh, this is going to take a restart and after the completing of the restart it's going to check the few process as well right so let the process will be completed okay so it is basically checking the updating registry settings right it is updating the registry settings as i have told you that it's going to check all kind of updates so these updates is, uh, is it's going to check right now
the service is going to check right and again the completing installation will be checked over there and the installation will be completed after following the system you don't have to press any kind of buttons while installing this right so make sure you didn't press any kind of buttons while while installing these operating system if any any things or any any requirement will be there so uh, so that recover requirement will be mentioned on the front of your display right so in that case you have to press any kind of button that is required right otherwise you you don't have to press any kind of buttons over there let the installation process will be completed guys only the two parts in the inside the any window any kind of windows operating system is going to check that is the expanding windows file and the completing installation only these two part is there uh, that is going to take a long time to install or to basically complete these process right so once this process will be completed so everything will goes smoothly Okay guys, let the installation will be complete, then we will resume. Okay guys, so once every installation process will be complete, then it will move to the setup, preparing your computer for this use, for the first use, right? So this is going to complete uh, repairing your computer, right? This will check all kind of functions, all kind of application, that these windows is required Guys, it's preparing your desktop. Guys, do you have any doubt, any question? Okay guys, so these are the step of the installation process. Uh, once this process will be completed, then your uh, the windows will be come up and then you can use the, your normal windows usings, right? So these are the things as you can also see over there, uh, everything is just complete the installation, right? So once the installation will be completed, so this, these are the functions that you will get inside that, okay? 
So this is how we can install any kind of operating system inside that VM. It's going to check all kind of tools, all kind of applications, and then it will provide you that facilities regarding these windows, right? Pins, what will be your time zone? What is your activation windows? Uh, the product ID and all the things. It does the normal requirement that is going to ask, and then it will come up, right? So just close this. And then you can uh, see over there that's going to copy all kind of files folder. It's, it's also going to check all kind of things. Then it will come up. Okay, guys, so here we have the some kind of server manager as well. Inside the server manager, we have role, feature, diagnostic, configuration, storage. So uh, we will also talk about these things in the Windows part, Windows server part. Okay, so we have lots of lots of uh, Windows server, Microsoft Windows server versions as well, such as uh, Windows Server 2003, 2008, 2012. 2016 2019 nowadays we are using 2019 and also i have that image file and i will do some installation regarding the windows server 2019 as well right so this is all about these windows guys that's all